All right, what's going on, YouTube? I've had a few people contact me or leave me comments asking how I have my Harman P68 hooked up in my house. First off, I live in a bi-level house built in 1978, and it's about 2,000 square foot. And I have two by four exterior walls, and a few years ago, I put brand new replacement windows in my house. And in the attic, I have, I, prob I put in an extra 20 to 24 inches of blow-in insulation. So I have a pretty good amount of insulation up there. And my Harman, this is a Harman P68. This is what I put in when I first moved in here. I think I definitely could have went a little smaller, but I didn't really know at the time. So this is what I bought. Probably could have bought their smallest one they have like this. What is the P43, I think. Um, but well, I have this Anyway, we'll get into how I have this all hooked up in my house and how the hot air goes up and the cold air comes down. And I also have a digital thermostat hooked up to this upstairs. I'll show you where that's at upstairs. And this all seems to work really well. The only room in my house that stays a little bit warm is right here where my pillow stove sits. Everything else seems, seems to stay really nice. I have this at the end of my house right below my living room and the kitchen, because those are the two rooms in my house that I like to keep the warmest. My bedrooms, I like to stay a little cooler, so it works out fine that way. So I have this at the end of my house, right in the, it's pretty much right in the center. I'll, I'm gonna take the camera up here soon and I'll show you a little bit. <clears throat> and I have a vent in the one corner and a vent right above it. And then another vent here that I cut through the through the floor. Let me show you how I have it, how it all flows and how it seems to, all my cold air comes right back down my steps. I got my, like I said, I have the Harman Pellet stuff sitting right in the center. And then I have a vent right there that'll be cut through my floor. I'll show you when I get upstairs and I have a vent down there in the corner. Now, I also think I could probably put, they think they make a little fan that you could put inside these vents that would suck the hot air upstairs better either that or maybe you could put a vent way back in one of your bedrooms to blow the cool air down all right so this is my little game room and books i have some pellets here okay that's my pellet stove and it blows the hot air straight down my house that's pretty much the end of my house down there And this room stays really nice. About the same as it stays upstairs when I have the pellet stove running. If you like this room, I built this room also. This used to be a garage. But then most of my hot air will just rises up my steps and goes also goes up that vent. When, when it's running, you can feel a lot of hot air come up these vents. Then I have a kitchen and a living room upstairs and a mess because my dogs, I already cleaned this up once. They're as bad as kids. But this is the one vent I have in the corner that is right there. And then I have another vent over here that's about right in the center of my house that I cut through the floor. And then I have this vent right here. That vent, I may not have even put that vent in if I did. When I started this, I had a wall here and I cut that wall out and built this kitchen. But here's where I put my digital thermostat that runs down and runs that Harman pellet stove. So whatever I set this at, I pretty much keep my house at about 73 degrees like that. Right now I'm heating with these Mr. Slim air conditioners. That's another thing I may have done different. I think I would have put Mr. Cool in because I could have put them in myself and saved myself a few thousand dollars. But I'll put some of this stuff down in the description if you want to check it out. But the Mr. Slim or the Mr. Cool I think are really nice. And there's one of the dogs that was making a friggin' ruckus. Piper. 
And then it, my house just goes down a hallway, just like a normal bi-level house or ranch house. There's a few bedrooms. All right, well, that's how I have my Harman pellet stove sitting in my house and how the hot air goes up. Well, the hot air will go up those vents. And then when that's running good, if you sit at the bottom of my steps here that I just walked up, you'll, I can feel the cool air rolling down them steps. One more thing I forgot is I have two ceiling fans, one in that living room and one in the kitchen up there. I also like to try to run at least maybe one of them and I run it in reverse so it kind of keeps that air moving around a little bit up there. That seems to help a, a little bit. I don't know if I really have to do that, but. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching my video. I hope this helps some of you guys out. Um, put a comment down below if you have another way that you hooked your pellet stove up and it helps to move the air around your house. These videos will help other people figure out how to hook these pellet stoves up. Please give me a thumbs up for this video. And like I said, leave me a comment down below. That really helps me out on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. Thank you very much. God bless and have a great winter.